Welcome to your next Lumen One Quick Start video about how to build belonging from day one. By teaching with Lumen One, you're part of our mission to eliminate race and income as predictors of student success. And when we say success, we don't just mean passing the course. Students, faculty, and research support the fact that a student's sense of belonging, to what degree they feel accepted, acknowledged, and valued in your class and the discipline, is just as important as academic success, and in fact, leads to academic success. Today, we'll quickly walk through how to use the Introduce Yourself survey and your faculty engagement center to build belonging from the start. You may remember this overview of the Lumen One student journey from our first video. We recommend using the Introduce Yourself survey at the very beginning of the semester. This short survey is designed to help you create a warm, welcoming connection, whether you're teaching online or face-to-face, -face. the type of connection that's critical for students who have traditionally been marginalized in higher education. And we heard from faculty like you that to create that connection, you need to know more about the students in your class, which is particularly hard when you're teaching a large section. And that is where Introduce Yourself comes in. For now, let's head into a Lumen One course to check it out. Inside the student's course materials, they'll see this student's Introduce Yourself assignment. The assignment is designed as a short survey where they can share things like their preferred name and how to say it, or even their pronouns. Each course has a slightly different survey, but they're all designed to help you get to know students and to help you understand who's taking your class. When students complete it, they can get a participation grade, and you can adjust the points and the due date for that inside your learning management system. The Introduce Yourself survey is only as good as what you do with it, and that's where your faculty engagement center comes into play. The Lumen Faculty Engagement Center is an instructor-only resource that's part of your Lumen One course materials. So when you imported the course, you should have seen it as part of your materials. Once you get inside it, there is a lot, which we'll dive into throughout these videos. But for today, we're gonna talk about how the information from Introduce Yourself fuels your student outreach section, which has your messaging tools and your student list. So first, let's talk about goes by names. You may have noticed that inside the Introduce Yourself survey, we've asked students to share their preferred names. We wanna make sure that we make it very easy for you to use and acknowledge those names throughout your teaching experience. That's why whenever there's a time-sensitive intervention or an email recommended, you'll see a student's goes by or preferred name right alongside their name from the LMS roster. If you use Lumen One to send messages to your students, you'll see that we're using their preferred and goes by name inside those student email templates. We wanna make sure that if students took the time to share that information with you, we make it easy for you to acknowledge that and for you to see them for who they are and as they wanna be seen. Finally, let's talk about the student list. This is the first link inside your engagement center and it opens up an about your students view where you can see the Introduce Yourself data for every student. You'll see that we've tried to make it easy to sort the columns so you can look for trends inside your class, or you can search for an individual student by name to quickly refresh yourself or learn more about them before a one-on-one. -on -one. Here's how to make the most of it. First, encourage Introduce Yourself completion. Make sure it's part of your course materials and you can use due dates and adjust the points to really incentivize it. After students have completed it, use the data. Preference their preferred names and pronouns to show caring and conversation. Reference their goals. And you can even consider ways to highlight course level trends without breaching confidentiality. One of my favorite questions is often, how are you feeling about the course? You can circle back to students at the end of the course to see how they're feeling. It's important to know that students get points the first time they complete Introduce Yourself, but they can go back and complete it again at any time if something has changed. And this way they could actually change their data throughout the semester and you could see growth or just see changes to their preferred name or other details throughout. They'll just get those participation points one time. For now, thank you for listening and thank you for teaching with Lumen One.